Hola, my name is Ramon and I will teach you how to be hombre. Today you will learn how to tie a, what you call a bow tie. I can guess you're probably watching this video for one of five reasons, or should I say, one of five days. Today is either New Year's Eve, Christmas, Halloween, San Valentin's Day, or National Bow Tie Day. How did I guess? Because those are the days that bring the most visitors to this video. How to tie a bow tie. And if I'm wrong, well, hombres are never wrong. But first, we must get to know the bow tie. For example, in order to start wearing a tie, like with everything else, you must know where it came from. The term from says, Cravat goes back to when aristocracy started wearing the Croatians' neckwear. Let us start off with knowing what type of bow tie we are working with. There are, believe it or not, different types. First, there are what you would call very tight bow ties, which are the easiest to put on because you simply just clip them on. Then, there are the self tie, tie it yourself, freestyle bow tie, which come in two shapes available. The Batwing and the Butterfly, or what I would like to call La Mariposa. Now that we know a little bit of the bow ties, here is a fun fact. Mo Bridges was the youngest millionaire at the age of nine. Ay, como quisiera que sea mi hijo. He was taught how to sew, and he made bow ties, and he started selling them around his neighborhood, then Etsy, and now he has his own sitio. In the following clips, my assistente, Gael Garcia, no, not a famous actor, but a cheap knockoff, but a very good one. We'll show you examples. Okay, first we will start off by putting the bow tie around your neck. One side must be longer than the other. You will bring that long side over into the loop and then tighten it. Down. Squeeze. Put the long side over your shoulder and just leave it there. Voila. Step one, terminado. Okay, that might have been a little too much for you. So we're going to take a quick break. El Bill Nye, the science guy, is an iconic legend for wearing bow ties. He's not smart, he's not funny, but you still watch him in la escuela. It's probably because he wears bow ties. If that doesn't convince you, how about this? Pringles, Playboy and KFC are a few successful companies that use the bow tie in their logos. You too can be just as successful, or at least feel like it, if you were to wear one. Okay, okay, fine. If you don't care about either those reasons, how about this? Since 1979, wearing bow ties in Iran is not allowed. I'm talking about banned. So take advantage of the freedom of wearing bow ties. Because those who live in Iran cannot. You never know. The day might come that bow ties will be banned throughout El Mundo. Now, let us finish tying the bow tie. Let us go back to Gary Garcia. Here, he will put the bow tie in a desired position. Then, we will go back to that side that we left over the shoulder and bring it over. This will create a loop in behind the bow tie. You can see that once Gael Garcia will turn around sideways and try to show you. It is very difficult to see because of the position of his hands. But you yourself will be able to feel it. You can also bring in the two wings from the front together to get a better feel. Like so. After that, you want to practice which way the bow tie will be going. As you can see, it wants to go from right to left or left to right. So we'll bring that in, put it inside, and make it come. Yes, if you are hombre, you should know, or you should be able to do this in a very fashionable way. Once you feel the loop coming outside, or what you call the wing, you want to pull it out. Put your finger inside and just tug. After that, you will see the bow tie form. You can feel it forming. From there, you want to fix it. Make it as fluffy as you desire. To do this, 
you are the pool and dog. Opposite from opposite. Once this is complete, all you have to do is bring in the colors down. Yes, it will mess up the bow tie once again, but that is okay. Because you don't want to walk looking like a fool. You will just have to fix it once again. Make sure our colors are very nice looking. There you go, Kyle. There you go. You know what you're doing. Once the colors are down, all you have to do is puff it up once again. And voila, the bow tie is tied. And we are finally finished. And now you know how to tie one of these bad boys. And you can go buy many more of these handsome little diablos and call yourself a climatologist, a collector of bow ties. And while you're at it, go find yourself another person with a bow tie and touch it. This declares a duel and whoever wins, wins the other person's bow tie. Good luck to you all, buena suerte, and you are now a little more hombre.